John from Dolphin Magic Pro made this beautiful grandfather clock on his YouTube channel. I will leave a link in the info box below for his video. I found this and I loved it so I wanted to make one myself and I asked him if I could. He said it was all fine and sent me these beautiful files for the grandfather clock. He used a veneer that was 1.6 mm thick but the only one I could find is 1.5 mm thick but it was working out really fine anyway. I cut out all the pieces on the print sheet that I needed and I drew them onto this wood. I placed some masking tape on the back side of this veneer. This way I am avoiding the veneer to uh, shatter and splint when I'm cutting it out on my scroll saw. Then I remove the masking tape and I'm going to sand all my pieces a little but I'm not showing that here. I'm using two pieces C and two pieces D to make a box shape so I'm just going to glue the sides together and make it into this little box. I place it in my glue jig for support while drying. If you want to know how to make the glue jig, I will leave a link in the info box below for that. When the glue is all dry, I'm taking out the little box from my glue jig. Then I take a piece of A and two pieces of B and I'm going to sandwich the A in between the B's and making sure that the back side is all flush. I take the last A and B part and I'm going to glue these together again with the back side flush. When the glue has dried, then I'm going to glue the piece with A and B onto the bottom of this box. So this is going to be the bottom piece of my grandfather clock. I'm gluing this together so it's all flat on the back side. When I've done this, then I'm going to glue this E piece on top of the sandwich with the two B's and the A. I did not have a brass tube that was big enough for this project, so I took an eye pin and some really nice beads that I liked and I'm going to put that on the eye pin and gluing it on the front of this box. Then I nipped off the excess of the eye pin and I glued on the top for this part. And now the bottom part of the grandfather clock is all done. Then I took the J, two G's and the K piece and I'm going to glue these together to the middle box of the clock. I put a chain through these two holes so that the loose end is hanging inside of this little box. Then I took some eye pins and some beads that I really liked for these heavy duty things that is in the bottom of the chain. And then I am just making this little loop at the end of the eye pin and putting the chain through, making sure they're secure and sitting nicely. I do this in both ends 
of the chain. Then I glue top and middle part together. And now to the pendulum. As I'm going to make mine a bit different, I'm going to paint it all silver. Then I'm using a stir stick for the pin itself and I'm using some polymer clay for the pendulum part that is uh, the round part here that I'm showing you how to do. Then I'm just going ahead and glue in the pendulum. I'm using my mini lathe to make this really cool bow on these two eye pieces. I use a piece of acetate and I'm going to glue the two eye pieces and the two H pieces together into the door for this uh, pendulum room on the clock. I cut off the excess acetate from the door so I have the door with this nice little window in there. And I glaze all the wood parts that I have done so far. Then I use my super glue gel to glue on the door on this uh, cabin. I cut out the P and the L pieces and I actually made a ring from the L piece that is going to hold my acetate between the clock and uh, the wood. I took this wrist watch that I actually took apart and I'm going to glue that here on the back side of the L plate. I had to make these small indents in the L plate and one of the P plates for this dial thing there is on the wristwatch. I cut out a piece of acetate that fit the ring that I made and I glue the acetate onto the ring and then I am going to glue the ring onto the L plate in front of the clock. Make sure there is room for the clock under the acetate. I made sure that this is working for me before I made this. And now I'm gluing the P sides onto this front piece so that it makes this uh, little box. And I glue this box on top of the thing we already made. I'm gluing Q, R and S together and I'm doing that with a flush backside. I'm gluing the end piece in place. Then the two M pieces. And I have made this little bow in the O piece that I am gluing on here. And then I'm gluing the piece we just made on top of it all. I'm going to glaze the rest of this little grandfather clock 
I am taking a battery and putting in so the wristwatch is working. Thank you Sean for letting me use your pattern for this grandfather clock. This fits perfect into my watchmaker's den. Please go and visit Dolphin Magic Pro and see all the cool things that he makes. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!